compute the horizontal and vertical components of the hydrostatic force on plane surface AB 2 meters wide into the screen and verify that the resultant force is equal to the resultant of the two components. So let's use the principle on fluid pressure on curved surfaces here, although the plane is a curve, the curve is a plane. It's not a curve, it's a plane surface, but we can still use that. So locating the, calling this as theta, and length of AB is square root of 1.8 square plus 2.4 square is 3 meters. So therefore, this is a rectangular gate AB 2 meters wide into the screen by 3 meters high or length. And locating the, computing the angle theta arctan of 2.4 over 1.8 53.13 degrees. So this is the centroid of the gate center of gravity and this is the center of pressure where F acts. Then by principle we draw horizontal lines through the endpoints where endpoints of the gate where it contacts with the liquid and that's the net height of the vertical projection of the area. So it is 2 meters wide by 2.4 meters high. So the location of the centroid of this projected area, which is also the centroid of this gate, is 1.6 plus half of 2.4. So bar H is 2.8 meters for both the projected area and for both the, for both the projected area and this inclined gate here. So FH is specific weight of water, 9.81, bar H 2.8 and projected area 2 by 2.4. So that's the definition on the principles on fluid pressure on curved surfaces. So FH is equal to 131.8 kilonewtons. FV on the other hand is equal to the weight of liquid bounded by the curve, the plane surface, the vertical lines through the endpoints, and the liquid surface, imaginary or real. So this FV here is equal to specific weight times volume of this water. This volume is equal to area of trapezoid times perpendicular to the board 2 meters. So FV is specific weight of water times volume. And the volume is area of trapezoid, this trapezoid here. Because by principle, we draw vertical lines through the endpoints of the curve up to the liquid surface, which is water surface here. And the dimensions of the trapezoids are 1.6 plus 2.4. So this is 2, 4 meters. This is 1.6. And the distance between parallel bases, 1.8. And perpendicular to the board, too. So it is equal to 9.81, quantity 1 half or 0.5 of 4 plus 1.6 times 1.8 and perpendicular to the board 2. Fv therefore is equal to 98.88 kilonewtons. So F, the resultant of Fh and Fv, square root of 131.8 square plus 98.88 square is equal to 164.8 kilonewtons. Now, we can compute F directly by the formula specific weight of liquid water times bar H times the area of the gate. The area of the gate is 3 meters, 2 meters by 3 meters or 6 square meters. Bar H is equal to 1.6 plus 2.4 over 2, so it's still 2.8. It's the area that is 2 by 3. Which is 6. So F is 9.81 times 2.8 times area 2 by 3. So F is equal to 164.8. Same as that, the resultant of FH and FV. So another way of computing FH based on this direct formula for F, which is perpendicular to the plane of gate AB, is because this is theta, the angle between the vertical and the normal angle of inclination. So FH is F opposite, so this is opposite of theta, so FH is 
f164.8 sine of 53.13 164.8 sine of 53.13 degrees so fh is 131.8 and fv is 164.8 cosine of 53.13 so i'm just using the principle so that you will have alternate way of computing the horizontal and vertical components of the fluid pressure on curved surfaces. So that's it.